Hey, hey everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to go through a little trick in Excel pivot tables on how to set up a default layout setting because typically when you open up a pivot table, it'll start doing a setting in this with these subtotals and indented columns and things like that. And it's not always the way you want to see it. For me, for example, I've got this other pivot table where I've made some changes to the way it looks. I've taken out columns, I've taken out subtotals, I've repeated headers. And I typically do this all the time when I create a pivot table and I don't want to have to repeat this every single time I open a new file. So I'm going to show you how to create a pivot table, make the changes and then save those changes. So moving forward, every pivot table you open and create is set up the way you want to see it. So let's get started. And those new to my channel, um, I do go through these tutorials very quickly just to avoid the fluff and, and avoid dragging these videos on too long. So if it's too fast, just pause and rewind where you see fit. So let's go to the data tab where the information lies. I'm going to highlight this table of motor vehicle sales um, and I'm going to go up to the ribbon and insert and insert pivot table. I'll select new worksheet and press OK. As you saw before, I brought in the branch of the company. Uh, I brought in the full name of the salesperson uh, across the top in the columns, I bring in the product and we'll bring in the quantity. And there's the original default layout. So I'll make the changes to match my updated pivot table here by simply clicking anywhere in the pivot table, going up to the design, and we'll go to the grand totals and we'll turn them off. We'll go to the subtotals and do not show. And we'll go to the report layout and we'll change it to a tabular form which puts them on separate uh, columns. And we'll go back into the report layout and repeat all item labels. Now this is the way I like to see it. And rather than having to do this every time I create a new pivot table, um, and this these settings will save whether it's a new workbook or the same workbook. So I'm going to go up into the ribbon to the file option. Down on the bottom left, there's a section for options. Click that. And now this pop-up appears. We're going to go down to the third one, which is data. And the first section is make changes to the, the to the default layout of pivot tables. Edit default layout. So I'm going to click this. And you can make changes here. But also, if you've already created one, you can just import it from the current pivot table. So it's already selected A7. That's where it is. That's a, that's a cell within the pivot table. I'm going to import these settings and you'll see these changes uh, appear when I press import. So it's now set up this format that I like to see. Not only that, there's some other pivot table options that you can also set up. So I'm going to click this from the pop-up and within layout and format, when I see an empty cell in my pivot tables, I like to show a zero instead of blanks. And also I like to untick the auto fit columns widths on update. So I'll unselect that. And press OK. By pressing OK again, um, this will save this format. So every time you open a new pivot table and a new Excel uh, workbook, these pivot table options will stay. We'll press OK and press OK again. So it is as simple as that. I'll show you how it works just to make sure. But if you do like what you see, please subscribe to the channel or click that like button. Um, so again, I'll go back into the data tab. I'll highlight the table again, insert pivot table, OK. And when I bring in the branch, full name, the product and quantity again, it's automatically done in the layout and set up, set up that I like to see. So there are a couple of little tricks, um, some things that you do change like number formats and potentially the design. Um, that doesn't save when you open up new workbooks you know, it, at least Excel gives you the option to save some of the uh, the default layout, so it saves you in the long run. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it helped. Um, it certainly saves me a lot of time with pivot tables, and if you use pivot tables, often like I do. So see you next time.